Hello once again and welcome to the module about teacher communications. In this module we're going to learn a little bit about uh, uh, some cool ways of improving the communication you can have as a teacher. Remember, as a teacher it's vital that you have to effectively communicate with your students, with their parents, with your colleagues who are both teachers, administrators, um, downtown and other professionals, and of course you've got a role to play in the wider community. Now, as a, as a teacher, you, there's lots of ways of doing this, and there's a variety of tools that can help you to do this. But we're going to talk about one tool in particular, and that is QR codes. So you know those weird uh, squiggly things that look like square barcodes that you sometimes see on products and on the occasional poster? That's a QR code. And they're very simple to make, and they're great tools to use for communication. As a teacher, you can use your, your QR codes to uh, share connections to online resources. You could have homework help on a barcode that they can scan. You could have extra information to help students with their learning. You could link to things that are outside of the school like special websites or experts websites who might be able to provide other information. You can use your QR codes to connect to the community. If you have an online newsletter or your school calendar or your class calendar or special events, those can be advertised online. You give the students and parents QR codes, they can easily access that information. To really know more about how useful QR codes can be, you must check out the reading. Um, it's well recommended that you read it, and you do need to do the reading to do the assignment, which is coming up next. But QR codes can be very, very useful if you learn how to use them. And the next part of this presentation will, is about how you're going to do that. So your assignment for this module, really simple one, and it's quite a fun one. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to create two QR codes. One is going to be put into your infographic. Uh, and it's going to be a me code, it's going to be all about you and the other one's going to go in your infographic for module 5 and it's a hyperlink that's going to connect to more information about digital citizenship. To do this you need to check the instructions on the assignment tab in Blackboard. They're very detailed and step by step and will help you get that task completed. Also remember to check out the rubric so you know exactly how you're going to be graded. You're going to have a lot of fun doing this one and you'll see how useful your QR codes can be for uh, teacher communication. Good luck and see you soon.